Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make money off of your Minecraft server. Yes, start making back some of that money you're putting into hosting costs, plugin development, and all that other stuff that Minecraft servers, uh, well, cost. This is how you can make some of that money back. Now, there are two ways to make money off your Minecraft server. One is in compliance with Minecraft and Mojang's end-user licensing agreement, and one is not in compliance with the end-user license agreement. Now, if you do do the one that's not in compliance, we're going to cover both here, both methods, both two of those methods, but if you do use the non-EULA compliant method, right, it could be illegal. You could be charged and prosecuted and Mojang could come after you if you do use the non-legal method and if you do use the one that's not compliant with Minecraft and Mojang's end user licensing agreement. So do it at your own risk. I am going to outline it here because many, many people do take that risk every single day when starting their servers. So I figured I might as well outline it here. But, first off, we need to talk about exactly how you can sell stuff on your servers, right? How do you do this? How does this all freaking work? Well, it's simple. It uses something called Bycraft. And what Bycraft is, or there's other methods, but we're talking about Bycraft here because that's what I personally use. I feel as if that's the best. I've tried pretty much everything that's out there. I can't say everything because there's a lot out there. Uh, but I've tried the top ones and I've settled on Bycraft as the best. I have also have many other servers done so as well. But uh, Bycraft is how you can sell stuff on your server. You'll install a plugin on your server and it will run commands when somebody buys something on your Bycraft store. Now, there's tons of tutorials out there on Bycraft, so you can Google how to do it. I'm going to be doing some myself in the coming weeks to help you guys out because I know that this is a big demand and a lot of people have asked for it. Nick, show me how to use Bycraft. Well, I'm finally jumping on the bandwagon. I'm going to help you guys. If you want to check out Bycraft, you can go down below rkt.us slash Bycraft to check that out. I love Bycraft. They're awesome. We use them for my server, the minecraftproject.com, and uh, I recommend them wholeheartedly. That being said, there are other alternatives out there. Specifically, the other big alternative is a service called Engine. I've checked them out, but they're not as good in my opinion. However, there is a link down below to them as well, rkt.us slash engine. All right, so it's, it's E-I, or E-N-I-J-I-N, I believe, but just go down below, it's it's down there. Nevertheless, now that you know exactly how you can sell stuff on your server and what methods and what technology out there that's out there that you can do that with, which is Bycraft and Engine are the two main ones, but there are others, and you can Google if you don't like either of those to find others. Nevertheless, what can you sell on your server, right? What can you do to make money? Well, first off, let's start off with what is in terms and in compliance with Mojang and Minecraft's end user licensing agreement, the EULA. Well, you can charge players for access and be inside the UA EULA guidelines. This is something that so many people have started doing. You have to charge, you can charge people monthly, one time, yearly, quarterly, biannually, whatever you want to do to access your server if they don't have. Right? If they, if they haven't paid, they can't access. If they pay, they they can access. Right? So if you pay for the server, you can access it. If you don't, you don't access it. Very popular method that's coming on, and I, I would say many, many servers are going to start doing this as time goes on, and as uh, Minecraft, Mojang, and Microsoft uh, start enforcing the EULA, if they enforce it, right? But I, I think this is going to be a more popular method. You can also accept donations on your server, just like Twitch streamers accept donations from their audience, you know, just out of the kindness of the audience heart they give to the Twitch streamer for entertaining them. Well, the same holds true with Minecraft servers. You can accept donations and not give nothing back in return other than a thank you, right, basically. You can't give in-game items or anything like that. You can have in-game sponsorships and advertisements. There are services out there such as AdBolt, which allow you to go and add, run servers and ads on your server and uh, get a little bit of money and kick back from that for the views and hits these ads are getting. Right, That's a EULA compliant way that's not illegal, not against Minecraft's EULA, that uh, you can monetize your server and make a little bit of money back off of it. And last but not least, you can sell in-game items, but they cannot affect gameplay. Examples of this, you can sell pets, that doesn't affect gameplay. Hats doesn't affect gameplay. And particle effects, right? Like explosions when someone joins or something like that. Because that doesn't affect gameplay at all, right? The gameplay stays the same. That's just a little bit of flair for that player, right? You can also change the color of, of usernames and things like that. And be completely fine. Because again, does it affect gameplay 
all that does is just, um, you know, add a little bit of flair to that person because they donated. They deserve it, right? So that is just a few ways of how you can be more EULA compliant with your server and how you can make money on your server in compliance with Minecraft's end user license agreement. There are two links down below, right? One is the announcement of it and kind of the first thing. And the second one is the follow-up Q&A from Mojang themselves on how this works, what you can and cannot do and sell and do all that stuff on your server to stay in compliance with Minecraft's end user license agreement. Now, what if you don't want to stay in the end user's license agreement? You want to break it, you want to run your server how you want to run your server, don't care what Mojang says, you're going to go for it. What can you do to monetize your server in that way? Well, this is a lot more stuff that you can do because there's no restrictions on it, right? Basically, anything you can imagine, you can do it because there's no restrictions because you're breaking the EULA anyway, right? But some examples of what most people do, right, is creating an in-game currency that can be purchased with money, right? Real-life money. So you can buy coins and then spend those in-games for kits, items, things like that. Very, very popular to do that. So that's an option, right? Trade in-game money, or trade real money for in-game money, right? That's one way. Selling in-game items that affect gameplay, such as swords, pickaxes, things like that, you know, armor, stuff like that. Sorry, I hit my mic there. Armor, stuff like that, that affect gameplay itself, right? You can also sell kits to users. For example, on my server, we sell kits, which, by the way, you can get around this. For example, on my server, we're running actually 1.7.9, which does not require EULA compliance. If you're on 1.7.9 or below on your server, you don't have to comply with the EULA. So that's what we're on, but we set it up to where 1.8 and 1.7.10 and 1.8.1 clients can join our server. But really and truly, we're running 1.7.9 without the EULA. Very, very smart there. You can do that using Spigot if you want to know how. Just Google how to set up Spigot 1.7.9 slash 1.7.10, and you'll be able to find tons of information on that. But that's how we get away with breaking the EULA, but not really breaking the EULA. Nevertheless, you can sell kits and things like that that include armor, swords, food, anything in-game, right? That's another way you can monetize. Another way is selling ranks to users, which we personally do, that include commands, that include features that these players have because they donated, and uh, that breaks the EULA, but it's a great way to monetize because it gives more incentive back. They're purchasing a product and not donating to your server. We actually don't like using the term donators because they're getting something in return. The people who purchase from our server are actually getting something in return for their purchase, not just donating the money out of the kindness of their heart, which... You know, thank you if that's why you do buy something on my server. It's just the bottom line. That's not the main reason, right? Most people buy something because they're getting something in return, and that's what we provide. That's why people who buy from our server aren't donators. They are clients. They are purchasers. They are customers, right? So that is why we don't use that, but this, these kits can include anything from commands, to in-game tools, to armor, to food, to anything, right? If you want to see an example of this, you can go to store.theminecraftproject.com, that is down below, there's a lot of links down there, so you might have to look for, for it to find it, but store.theminecraftproject.com, you can see how we use ranks, how we do all of our monetization and things like that, but there are just a few ways to be both EULA compliant with your monetization, and against the EULA with your monetization, you can pick yourself which one you're going to do. Again, if you're going to break the EULA, I'm not responsible for you doing that. Do that at your own risk. I do not recommend it. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome tutorials and videos and everything on Minecraft every single day of the week. So I know you will enjoy it if you enjoyed this video. I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching, and I am out. Peace. And do some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is how to get plugins in Minecraft 1.8. If you want to get awesome plugins in 1.8, that's exactly how to do it. So go check out that video. And on the right is Mod Tastic Episode 18. That's my weekly modded Minecraft series where uh, I play modded Minecraft, have some fun, survive. I think you'll enjoy it. Go check it out. Also, check out the videos in the bottom screen of your screen if you want to know how to grow your very own YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.